kids, uh, my boys are nine and five years old. And, uh, mm, thanks. <laughs> Didn't have a whole lot to do with that. <laughs> It's just time more so than me. I mean, I was there for the part that created it, and if you don't understand how that works, I don't want to get into it over the microphone, but after the show, I'll explain simple reproduction to you. It's just a stork in a bag. It's not that big a deal. Um, but my boys are nine and five, and this song that I'm going to play for you, uh, it was written about... Um, this older fellow who had lost his wife and um, talked a little bit in the newspaper article that I read about all the things that they'd been through. He had been through the war and come home and um, they had spent almost 60 years together and they'd raised kids and had grandkids and great grandkids and I just, I, I imagine what it would be like for that man to, to go home and have to be alone for the first time in decades and in the house where they had done all of these amazing everyday things. But when we shot the video for the song, um, we had these young directors from Nashville that nobody would pay them to do videos, and they, they came up with this cool concept, and we, we let them do it, and they found this incredible old fella to uh, portray the old man in the video. And um, he was great. He really, I mean, as much as you can sort of inhabit a role in three minutes and 30 seconds on a music video. He really, he did it. Even when I see my, you know, the video myself, I'm like, I feel for the old man. And um, my kids saw the video a couple times when it was playing on CMT and those things. And then they had seen it online at one point. We watched a copy of it and we were editing. So they sort of knew the video. <laughs> one day um, we were out and around and we ran into Jerry, the old man in the video. and. He came over in Publix and he gave me a big hug and he said, how have you been? He's got this great old man voice. <laughs> and he, he said, how are you? And I said, I'm so good, it's so good to see you. I asked about his wife and she was shopping in the beauty aisle. And he said, I don't want to interrupt her. And I said, all right. And so we talked for a second and I looked at my boys and they were scared shitless. <laughs> they were terrified. Why does she? So I was like, what the fuck? And then I thought one of them was going to throw up in the grocery store or something. So I started, I said, can y'all say hi to Jerry? And they just went, <laughs> and he said hey to the boys and they just they're usually very personable and we, we make them you know use their manners and things like that and they were just out of it I thought what the fuck is wrong with these kids um, anyway we talked for a few minutes and Jerry wandered off and said guys are y'all okay and they said we thought he was dead <laughs> And it bothered me on a lot of levels. One, because he's not even the person that died. He's alive in the video you're seeing. It's his wife that died. And I realized at that juncture they would be shitty video editors. I pay no damn attention to my song. But it's good. So now when they act up, my wife and I just hire Jerry to come over and look in their bedroom. <laughs> Straight A's. Straight fucking A's.
and a photograph of two love drunk kids on the day that they said I do. Fifty-seven years of memories fall. Only you 